I want the world to hear this even when I'm gone. <laughs> a lot of things has gone wrong and I'm asked to keep quiet and not say a word except they are going to kill me. <laughs> but one more it is to die than what they have done to me on the internet. <laughs> that the world <laughs> feels I did something wrong. <laughs> I would rather prefer to die and tell my story <laughs> than die being quiet for nothing. I was not arrested by any police officer. <laughs> no police officer handcuffed me and humiliated me. <laughs> it was the only reason that sent his boys. I was invited to his house. <laughs> they called me on the phone and told me that he wanted to see me <laughs> stupidly for me because I had nothing at the back of my mind. I just took my shower, wore my gown, <laughs> and went to his house. <laughs> I walked into the compound. I sat on the plastic chair that they gave me outside. <laughs> Three boys were holding belts and two were holding guns. <laughs> I asked what the problem was. They shut the gates, collected my phones from me and asked me to sit on the floor. <laughs> I asked them why. They said it was the Inspector General of Police that sent them to arrest me. I told them, fine, then let's go to the station. They said if I don't keep quiet, they are going to shoot me down and kill me. I had no choice than to sit down because nobody even knew where I was. I was all by myself, sitting on the ground. They took my phones from me. <laughs> One of them brought out handcuffs and handcuffed me on the ground. <laughs> All I kept begging was, please, stop videoing me. <laughs> they said if I don't say what they asked me to say, that they're going to shoot me down. I had no choice. They videoed me and asked me to say everything. Asked me to say I impersonated only in his house. I invaded his privacy. I came into his compound. They asked me to use my phone and do a live video. <laughs> I did a live video. They asked me to post it. I did. They asked me to roll on the ground. And go and start begging on using his compound. By then he drove in. As soon as he drove into the compound, I saw a police officer in uniform. I ran to him and told him, sir, please. I work with the police. They are humiliating me, and the policeman asked me to get out. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> they started doing video calls. The guy who handcuffed me and his friends started calling girls on video calls to mock me. Fortunately for me, they called somebody I knew, and immediately she saw me on the camera. She ran to the destination with her husband and came and started begging them. She begged and begged with her husband. That was the only savior that made them allow them come into the gate. They asked me to sign an undertaking. I didn't even know what the undertaking was about. Asked me to bring out 500,000, except they are going to publish the video. I told them I don't have 500,000. I just finished celebrating my birthday party. They said if I don't bring the money, then I'm going to. The video is going to go all over the internet. After the begging, they said they wanted to go and know my house. They drove to my compound, asked me to bring down my kids. I brought down my kids. They looked at them. On the process of them driving out, they met my mom at the gate. After the whole drama, they drove off. Before I could blink my eye, the video was already on the internet. And I was like, okay, fine, what more is it to life? You guys have posted the video, so what is it? Will you guys won again? Probably, I don't know what happened. They started getting fused. People started asking why I was handcuffed. So in order to cover up, they came back and asked us to have a drink. To make social media believe it's a stunt that nothing really happened. I'm not doing this video to get your sympathy or to get your pity. 
I have fought for humanity. I have fought for women. I have fought for children. I have fought for single mothers. With my life, with my money, with my position, with my blood. I have. It's killing me at this point of my life that I can't fight for myself. I try so hard to be strong because everybody says I am strong. But I wanted the world to know what happened before I leave, before I take my own life. I would die in my grave. I would, I would never rest if I have to die without people knowing what happened to me. It's okay for you to judge, run your mouth and see things. It's your mouth. That's what it's meant for. <laughs> All I want is for the world to know that I did not jump into his house. No police officer arrested me. I was never detained. I was just handcuffed. They did the video and posted it online. That is all I have to say. That is all. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.